If you're looking for a watch with an open work dial and a lot of tradition, this one's for you. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Cam. Welcome to another review. Today, we're gonna take on a giant of the industry. We're gonna talk about Breguet. The watch in question is the Breguet Tradition Quantium Retrograd 7597. Quantium Retrograd is simply put a retrograde date indication. The retrograde date indication on this watch is visible here on the lower half of the dial. Breguet was founded in 1775 by none other than Abraham Louis Breguet. Most notably, he's the inventor of the tourbillon. That's what most people know him by. He was a genius watchmaker, a watchmaker to kings, queens like Marie Antoinette. And also he was known to create beautiful, beautiful pocket watches. Some of them still go on auction today, but now they fetch such high prices that I just dream about owning one one day. If I would decide to buy a Breguet right now, I would definitely look into the tradition line. We reviewed one on the channel already, the reference 7057, which has a nice power as an indicator, which was in white coat. If you didn't see the video yet, I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out. It's a less complicated watch, also slightly more affordable. In the tradition line, you also have the 7097 with retrograde seconds. You've got the 7077, which is a super cool chronograph with two separate balance wheels. Then you have the 7067, which is a GMT tradition model, and the masterpiece, the Grand Complication with a Fusée Tourbillon is the reference number 7047. Definitely something up my alley, not financially, but just from a passion perspective. This watch is beautiful and I think Breguet doesn't get the recognition they deserve. They make beautiful timepieces, exquisitely made, they use finishing techniques also found in many independent watch brands, and I think more people should look into this brand. Again, it's not hyped up, the prices on the secondary market are often lower than the retail prices, which again, if you just want to buy the watch and the product and you don't care about the resale value, it's a great buy for you because you can really find some good deals around there. Also, if you go to your local retailer, which this one's from, this one was lent to me by Bayer Chronometry in Zurich, they're the local retailer of Fabrigue watches, and also somebody who lent me many watches in the past, I'm really thankful about that. You can also inquire about this piece or any other Breguet watches. The layout of the movement in the traditional line is inspired by the old subscription pocket watches. So you have the main spring barrel in the middle, you have the gears on the left side and the balance spring on the right side. We've got an off-center dial, which is here at 12 o'clock. It's 18 karat gold, which is silvered and guilloche finished. The hour chapter ring is brushed, it has Roman numerals, and also we've got the famous Breguet hands with an open tip. These are made in steel and are then heat blued. We also see heat blued screws on the dial which hold it onto the component below. And the date hand is heat blued as well. The retrograde date complication spans from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. But you read it the opposite direction. So it goes here from 9 to 31. It has alternating numerals and applied dots which are polished. So you can distinct it a bit better. And also, if you would just have the numerals, it would span much wider. I think this looks very cool. It kind of reminds me of the Joker face as well. It has like a nice smile on the watch. At 10 o'clock, we've got another pusher. So you might have asked yourself, what is this one for? So this one actually is screwed in. So once you unscrew it, you can push it as you would like say a chronograph pusher. So this one is to adjust or jump the date indication. So if we look now here closely and we push it, you see that it will jump. And once we come to 31, it retrogrades and goes back to 1. Here we go. The hand is actually hand bent to hover above the bridges and also here at the end, the balance wheel. It's beautifully executed. The tip of the date hand is diamond shaped. It doesn't feature Luminova. It's white so you can see it clearly and it has a nice contrast to the movement below it. The rest of the movement is beautifully decorated in the true Breguet style. This is something I really appreciate and love. All the screw heads are polished and we have this frosted look which is known for the tradition line. The same look of the movement is on the front as well as on the back side. But on the back there's something special as well. Highly polished self-winding rotor with a Breguet name on top of it. I love the contrast between the frosted movement on the back and the polished rotor. 
Some of the older versions also feature a hand engraved rotor, which is also beautiful, and most of the traditional line watches feature no rotor. Most of them are manual winding pieces. This movement features 234 components, it features a Breguet balance spring in silicon, a shock protection system which is known as the parachute, which was also invented by Abraham Louis Breguet. We've got 50 hours of power reserve and the movement is adjusted to 6 positions. It beats at 3 Hz, so 21,600 vibrations per hour. It also features hacking seconds, so if you want to set the time precisely, you just pull out the crown and the balance wheel will stop turning. This makes sense and it also doesn't make sense, because you don't have any running seconds in here, so how do you know if I stopped the time now at 20 seconds off or if it was 0 or 45 or whatever. So it's nice to have hacking seconds, but also I would prefer to have it only with watches that have a running seconds indicator. Nonetheless, it's a nice feature and also when you stop it, you can really admire the shape of the balance wheel and also how all the adjustment can be made with the little screws on the side of it. Overall, it's a beautiful watch, a really nice dress piece. The case is stunning as well. In typical tradition fashion, we have a coin etched case, a slightly curved bezel, and also we have welded on lugs, which features screwed in spring bars. Once I put the watch on my wrist, I really see why some people fall in love with it. It looks awesome. It has a nice mix between tradition, classy dress watch appeal, plus a avant-garde independent watchmaking style appeal. Because it has a balance on the dial, it also adds a bit of curiosity to it. So if somebody looks at your wrist, he'll be probably asking himself, what the hell is this? Or can I take a closer look? We have a nice rose gold pin buckle, a very comfortable leather strap, and from the side you can see the profile of the case. It's actually 12.1 millimeters high, you see it goes under the cuff with no problem. Turning the wrist around, we can see the diameter of the watch, it's 40 millimeters, and lug to lug, I measured 49.9 millimeters. It sits slightly bigger on the wrist because of the lugs. I think easily a 16 centimeter wrist could also wear this watch. But again, before you buy an expensive piece like this, go try it out yourself and you will get the answer immediately. There's also a white gold version available, which looks cool, more sleek, more down to earth, but I think if you buy a Breguet, the rose gold case is a good choice. Guys, what do you think about Breguet watches? Do you think they're undervalued or overvalued? If you wanna own one, let me know which one that would be. If you like the content we do, I would really be happy if you subscribe and also share with somebody who likes watches as much as you do. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll catch you next week.